all my dear ladies and gentlemen quota when i entered into this town in 1971 is hardly a dot on the map of our country india and it was considered as an educational uh, an industrial town because of three major industries the jk synthetics limited instrumentation limited and sira rolls chemical it was uh, stated as a industrial town but somehow i was discredited to convert it into an educational city pouring nearly 1500 crores of rupees per annum because of 1.5 lakhs of students every month coming here for education that kind of strategy was here this was according to wall street journal if you go back in 95 96 two major industries jk synthetic limited and il instrumentation limited had started recessing and were on the verge of closing down In fact, 97 JK Synthetics closed down, and IL has been closed down very recently. There was tremendous unemployment, and if coaching industry has not come, God knows what would have had happened to this city because of that unemployment, because. JK Synthetics was having an employment of 5,000 workers, 3,000 engineers, staff members that almost same as that of same employment opportunities was existing in IL. These people were adjusted or 50% or 75% exact figure I don't have, were adjusted in the coaching scenario. Not only this, with the coaching industry many other uh, avenues of job came up heavy messes heavy hostels as you see this town juices and fruit juices shops and all those things required by children in day to day life like laundry two ideas have opened up a company bindas wash so with with, the, with this kind of uh, jobs uh, created transport that is auto rickshaw hotels many other teachers with full competence with full caliber teachers in each areas of skilled teachers in each areas of physics chemistry and mathematics were also needed to run these industries in addition to this IT personnel 
marketing personnel and accountants were also required support of the society support of city authorities and political leaders together with media kept put the city on the globe and increase its popularity due to which you are here as far as i am concerned i am vk vansal or known as full name vinod kumar vansal born in 26 october 1949 in a small town jhansi that is uttar pradesh and uh, in a middle class family joint family my father was a government servant and he was transferred to lucknow and i also came with him because i was the eldest son our family did not even have electricity in lucknow all my education from nursery kg till class 12 was completed in lucknow itself and i was continuing in class 1 second third fourth one fine sunday i asked my father pitaji why don't we have electricity in our house because the fumes coming out of it lantern they give me burning sensations to my eyes my father very gently and humorously which i couldn't understand replied that if you come first class first every year you can easily get electricity such a reply when he gave it was ridiculous to me it means i am responsible for not having <laughs> electricity at home but anyway i took it as a challenge and i started working very hard hard to the extent to which i fulfilled what he wanted first class first in class 6 7 8 9 with the result at the end of class 9 i gave him i got 375 rupees as scholarship which i handed over to him he was very happy to have those 375 rupees because 375 rupees in 1964 63 was a big money only part of the money was utilized in providing electricity and his expectations from me were had increased that this child is a capable child but he is very hard and he can do something more than what i was expecting from him so i got he got me admitted in banaras in the university in mechanical engineering i completed my graduation from there in engineering and because i had a good performance good performance means not first class first but i had third position in the university with the result i easily got a job in jk synthetics limited in the department of air conditioning in 1973 i got married to a girl in jhansi only 
I kept on, my life was normal. I kept on enjoying my married life, but it was short. Only after a couple of years, I had some muscular problem. After consulting the doctors in Kota, which they could not understand what kind of muscular problems he has, he referred me to All India Institute of Medical Science, and there it was diagnosed as muscular dystrophy, which is not curable and uh, increasing. Maybe he said that you may survive only up to 10, 15 years, and thereafter you may have to uh, live on wheelchair. Resting on wheelchair for the rest of the life, it was very hard to hear it, it's difficult to hear it, but I am sitting today in front of you. What they said was absolutely correct. And this chair which I am having it was also given to me by a girl who was studying in my class, to whom I called. Now the life continued on a wheelchair. I consulted a lot of neurophysicians, neurosurgeons, no result. But a doctor in USA as well as UK wrote the common letter which gave me the treatment. They said, Mr. Vardhan, there is no treatment to this illness, is a fact, but we are writing you 10 points. Leave the industrial job because that will not solve your purpose. Select what you can do out of these 10, which does not require any mobility. And out of those 10, I said, well, there was a point, teaching at home. No, because I was an engineer and I have taken... I had taken mathematics as a special elective. Teaching at home gave me the life with wheelchair. So I selected a boy. I, fortunately, I got a boy to whom I was weak in mathematics. I started teaching him and within three months, he got excellent performance in mathematics. The news spread in J.K. Synthetics colony that Mr. Bansal teaches very well, extremely well. The children started coming to me for mathematics 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th. I taught all these students for CBSE as well as PET because PET was also very Good examination used to be for Rajasthan, and thereafter I did not stay, I started teaching for IITJ. I started enjoying those children available to me for IITJ, and only with one subject of mathematics, I don't know how. God used to give me a lot of different ideas which other teachers did not know it. The concept of different ideas of teaching mathematics, how I got those ideas, I don't know. But the children were really enjoying mathematics. One of my students, Mr. Satin Chha, who has written a biography on it, he is also sitting here and perhaps he will tell you a little more about me some special quality he will you, which I would not like to tell because of time is uh, almost over. So it is the teaching at home which gave me the life. First three years of course I was teaching free to the students and this uh, emotional fault of mine most of feelings of mine got corrected with one of my general managers who told me that Mr. Vandana, nothing doing, no free. 
Because the children to whom you are going to flee, they will never come to help you. Neither they will help you. Maybe one or two children might send you rupees 100 or 200 sometimes, but don't expect any help to you. You will require more money. You will require billions of money for your survival. People who are going to serve, your help will be done by your wife or maybe by the by money. It is it is by virtue of money that I have purchased the second share. The first share which uh, my girl student has offered me is lying at home. So one share and alternative share. So these two collection factors, they made me popular all across the... I started getting children from the neighboring countries like Dubai, Oman, and uh, my internal desire that I must have some AIR1, AIR2, AIR3, not only fulfilled once, but five times. In 2000, AIR1 as well as 2, in 2002 again AIR1, in 2007 again, 2008 again, and in 2015 again AIR1. So five times AIR1 from a single institute is a miracle. And six times AIR2 and six times AIR3 is again a miracle impossible from a single institute. <laughs> but one thing is there that I used to busy with my work 16 hours a day. 16 hours a day, I used to remain busy and all my uh, body functions means I was getting proper sleep, I was, my food was getting digested and all such activities which uh, a person gets when he is there on uh, God made chair, I was getting completed by sitting on man-made chair. This is because of karma. Karma ke andar itni shakti hoti hai. Bohut shakti hoti hai. Karma, eh, tapasya mein jo karma rupi tapasya mein shakti hoti hai. Ke uske aage ishar ko apne nirne bhi change karne padte hai. Aur jab woh nirne change karte hai, to aap you will see that when you are in this building, you will not feel like you are entering into a coaching institute. You must have got the feeling that you are entering into a temple. You must have got the feeling you must have got the feeling that you are entering into a temple. So towards the end, I can say that I was alone, I was alone, but I was alone, but I was alone, but I was alone, Karwa Bhatta Gya. Thank you very much all.